my hands here is the brand new Huawei MatePad Pro 5G. It's an incredibly versatile tablet and I've been using it. It's got a bunch of really cool features that I'm going to talk more about, including the world's first multi-screen collaboration, an app multiplier tablet. But is it the Pro tablet of 2020? Let's find out in this video. Say hello to the Huawei MatePad Pro 5G. So as I mentioned in my intro, I've been using this just under two weeks now. And I wanna start this review by talking about the design because that's the first thing that most people will notice. To begin with, it has this smooth curved edges around the side that make it incredibly comfortable to hold in the hand. And you have the highest screen to body ratios at 90% ultra narrow 4.9 millimeter bezels that surround the 10.8 inch 16 by 10 display. Now talking of that display, it is a 2K QHD IPS panel and that gives you a resolution of 2560 by 1600 and a PPI of 280. Now it's capable of fully displaying the DCI P3 cinematic color gamut, which basically means watching movies and media on this display is going to be a very, very pleasant experience. Now something to be aware of here in the Middle East, it has a good brightness. We've got 540 nits of brightness. So that means that this tablet will be great to use in a range of different lighting conditions. So if you pay attention to the top of that display, you'll notice a cutout and that is for the front facing 8 megapixel camera. That camera is for video calls, for front facing selfies if you want to take them with this tablet, but it can also be used for security. So for security, you can have this set up so that it unlocks your device. And for the most part in normal lighting, it works pretty well. Now turning it on the back, you'll also notice a 13 megapixel camera that can be used whenever you require a camera on your tablet. As well as that, my particular model comes in this beautiful forest green color. It's kind of this folk leather, which is vegan friendly on the back. This tablet will come in a range of different colors and also a range of different styles. So there's plenty of options to choose from. The Mavehead Pro 5G also has pretty decent sound through the Harman Kardon speakers. And you also have speakers that are at the top and bottom of the device. So it gives you an all round sound experience. Now performance on a tablet is pretty important. I'm gonna to touch on that in a bit more detail in a moment, but just off the basic specs, it has eight gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of internal storage, and it's also powered by Huawei's very own Kirin 990 chipset. This is the first 5G tablet in the UAE market, and it means that it's ready to go right out of the box. Now coming back to performance, I've used this tablet as you would expect to use a tablet. I'm talking about graphic intensive gaming, multimedia, all the way through to productivity, and it's held up incredibly well. Now it runs Android 10 and it has Huawei's own skin on top of that, which is EMUI 10. And although it doesn't come with Google Play services right out of the box, it does have the Huawei app gallery, which is essentially Huawei's own app store that helps you get majority of the apps. Now, any of the apps that I couldn't find through that are not difficult to find because you have other options. Uh, there are apps like App Finder that will source the uh, apps that are not available on the app gallery and it does a good job. Now, on the software front, there are a couple of things that really stand out in terms of features and tweaks. Two of them I want to briefly touch on. The first one is something called App Multiplier. Think of the scenario in landscape mode when you might want to be using two different applications. Well, that's possible because you can drag and drop applications so that you have them side by side. And this is great when you're you know, browsing the web, copying and pasting situations. It can be such a good use of that screen real estate. There is another Another feature and that is the multi-screen collaboration. This works really well if you have let's say a Huawei smartphone as I have with the P40 Pro. I can essentially mirror the smartphone over on my tablet and this is great when you need to be using both devices at the same time but it's also great if you want to drop and drag certain features let's say from the camera app or from your photo gallery. It's also great for taking calls, but also for multimedia as well. So let's say you're watching an IGTV episode, you can watch that on a larger display on your tablet. 
I think some of these features really show off the pro capabilities of what this tablet has to offer. And I've used things like multi-screen collaboration in the past on the MateBook 13, so I'm really happy to see that be included by Huawei on the MatePad Pro. It changes the interaction between the smartphone and tablet, and if you're somebody who wants to consider leaving your laptop for a tablet device, then I think this makes a very compelling case to do so. It's gonna be incredibly useful for people who are looking for a tablet for office work, but also for creatives too. Now sticking to productivity, there are two sets of accessories that I've been using with the Huawei MatePad. The first one is the smart magnetic keyboard, and that opens out to give you a full style keyboard with your MatePad Pro. It connects via magnets on the back, so you don't have to worry about this slipping off. Plus, it connects directly to the MatePad via Bluetooth. Now, the keys have this really nice tactile feel, and I think if you're gonna be doing a prolonged amount of typing with the MatePad Pro, this is certainly the accessory to consider. Plus, when you're finished with it, you can fold it up, and it has this nice premium look and feel that helps to also protect your MatePad Pro. The other accessory is the Huawei M Pencil. So this connects again via Bluetooth and it can be stored on the top uh, in landscape mode on the MatePad Pro via the magnets, but it has over 4,000 different levels of pressure sensitivity, including tilt support. So it makes it feel like you're actually writing naturally on that display. Plus, there are a couple of apps that come pre-installed that help you get the most out of the M Pencil so battery life is pretty important in a tablet and you'll be happy to know that this has a whopping 7250 milliamp hour battery but you're also getting power saving abilities thanks to that kirin 990 chipset but also through the emui 10 so you're able to push the battery life on this tablet even further now as well as this it has a support for 40 watt huawei supercharge but check this this is the world's first tablet that supports wireless charging and reverse wireless charging as well. So if you wanna charge your smartphone up on the go or your free buds, just place them on the back of the tablet, even when it's in the smart magnetic keyboard and it will do a good job at charging those up for you. So after two weeks with the MatePad Pro 5G, I like it. I think there's a lot that this device offers, everything from the design display to the internals and also the accessories that Huawei have included with the MatePad Pro 5G. It's a really good tablet, particularly in 2020, when we don't really have very many options out there. And I think Huawei have done a good job in terms of the build and size of this because it fits squarely or rectangularly in between a laptop and a larger smartphone. So this is gonna to appeal to a lot of people. Now the MatePad is available as the MatePad Pro 5G version or a more affordable MatePad version. If you're looking to pick up your Huawei MatePad, check out the link in the description bar below that will have information about pricing, but also information about some of the gifts that Huawei are including with the pre-orders. Now pre-orders in this part of the world will start from the 24th of June, 2020. Plus Huawei are also including three months worth of free exclusive access to Huawei's brand new video streaming platform as well. I'd love to know your thoughts, not only on the Huawei MatePad Pro, but also on tablets in general. So leave your comments in the comment section below. Plus, if you're new around here, be sure to smash that subscribe button, hit like if you enjoyed this video, and until next time, I'm Mkwan, peace and blessings.